there is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Sometimes the breakup is the blessing. See, sometimes you got to get rid of a man in order for God to give you the man that you really need. You just have to hang in there. He might have something better for you. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. And that's it. What do you do when what God gave you to ride in starts coming apart? Do you give up hope? Do you walk away? I don't want you to define success or to ask God to preserve the temporary. See, God promised to get you there, but he didn't say how. And if you're not careful, you will put all your energy and you'll put all of your work into preserving something that God only gave you for a season. God brings some people in your life to get you from point A to point B. The thing you was counting on to get you to the other side. The job you thought you'd retire with. The house you thought you'd have the rest of your life. And the storm got it. How many of you have lost some stuff in the storm? lost some people in the storm and it made you feel like a failure it was a temporary blessing if it was meant to stay it couldn't leave you're in love with what you had and you think that if your life does not retain the shape that you started with you don't think that it can get you where you're going i have learned that every blessing doesn't come to stay. Every friend is not going to be a lifelong friend. And if they walk away, don't stand there and cry over what was, because if you'd have needed them for the future, they would have stayed. God put people in your life for a reason. Others are there for a season. And it's very important that you recognize when people's seasons are over. God put people in your life for a reason. Other people are there for a season. Is the season over? Or have you decided because you're desperate, because you just need validation, you need all of these people and things around you. You've decided to drag these random people into the new season of your life. You have a boat your boat is at its capacity and in order for your boat to not sink and go underwater and that could be your career that could be your life that can be your your personal life your relationships is that relationship over do you feel mentally spiritually and emotionally stimulated in that relationship are you just holding on to it because you got this concept of loyalty that you have overabused, overused, and overabused. Well, I've learned that loyalty has an expiration date. Loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever. Because technically, some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season, the mind and the space that you're in. Think about this. This is this is the this is a reminder that loyalty has an expiration date. You ever been in a relationship with some folks three years ago and then you run into them and you're like, man, what was I thinking, dating her or dating him? And you almost want to beat yourself up for even the fact that you were in love or had all of these ridiculous feelings for this person. That shows you right there that, that loyalty has an expiration date. You could never see yourself not being with that person. But at a certain point, all of the signs and wonders revealed itself that that relationship is over. 
So if you had drugged that person, those people, those friends into the new season of your life, your life wouldn't be going as well as it's going right now. We all have things happen to us in life that we don't understand. Doors that have closed or people that have turned on us. It's easy to live frustrated and fight against everything we don't like. We think that it's holding us back. Everything serves his plan. Not just the good things. The person that walked away is serving his plan. If that wouldn't have happened, you couldn't reach your destiny. What you couldn't see was God had something better. You may not like it, it doesn't seem fair, but it's serving his plan. When you understand that everything serves his plan, then you won't live frustrated. You won't get upset because you didn't get your way. The person that walked away wasn't a coincidence. It was God moving them away. We need to see difficulties in a new light. How do you know that closed door, that disappointment is not setting you up for something that you've never seen. The scripture says our steps are being ordered by the Lord. If you weren't supposed to be there, you wouldn't be there. Don't be upset over that person that's trying to make you look bad. You need them to reach your destiny. It wasn't a coincidence. It's positioning you for something bigger. Sometimes it's going to feel like you're going backwards. You have to trust him when you don't understand. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord. Now the test, while it's not good, will you stay in faith? When it's unfair, will you believe that God is still on the throne? That what he started in your life, he's going to finish? God will use people being against you to move you into your purpose. You need people that try to throw you into the pit so you can take your throne. People can't override what God has ordained for you. I wonder if you're upset over something that's serving his plan. A person that walked away doesn't make sense. Stay in peace. It's all a part of the plan. God knows what you're going to need in the future. Many of the challenges that you're facing now, they don't have anything to do with now. It's positioning you for something in your future. You will see how God will begin to connect the dots. Instead of being bitter, have a new perspective. It's serving His plan. The betrayal, the closed doors can be discouraging. It's not working against you, it's working for you. God will never close a door without opening a bigger and a better door. If you'll keep the right attitude, one day you'll look back, Lord, thank you for closing that door. Thank you for moving that person out of my life. I would have never met my amazing spouse. We don't grow in the good times. Everyone is for us. Things are falling into place. We grow when it's difficult, when we have to stretch. That's why you can't pray away every challenge. And if the situation is not changing, then God is using the situation to change you. If God made everything easy for us, we wouldn't be ready for where we're going. God has amazing things in your future. But to get there, you're going to have to defeat some big giants, outlast some strong opposition. Now you have to stand strong and show the opposition that you're more determined than they are. That challenge is not going to defeat you, it's going to promote you. Instead of complaining about what's not turning around, see that as an opportunity to develop your faith. Keep doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. Keep thanking God when you don't see any sign of it. His grace doesn't mean he's going to remove every challenge. It means he's going to increase your strength so it doesn't feel as difficult. 
Now you can handle what you couldn't handle in the past. What used to bother you doesn't bother you anymore. God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Everything that you're going through at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to